The foundation of the Eiffel Protocol is a set of design guidelines. These guidelines are instrumental to achieving Eiffel's goal of high-speed real-time sharing of data within an ecosystem of continuous integration and delivery pipelines. I'll cover a few of the most important ones in this screencast, because understanding them is an important part of understanding Eiffel, why it is the way it is and not some other way. They are based on lessons learned the hard way from years of applying this type of technology to continuous integration and delivery pipelines in an enterprise context. The first and arguably most important is what to communicate is volitional, how to communicate it is not. There are really two parts to this. The first part says that everyone can choose what to say. Just like in a courtroom, you have the right to remain silent. This is important to allow users to cherry-pick what makes sense for them. You don't have to start sending every event there is at every opportunity. You can start with one or a few, then add from there if that makes sense to you. The second part says that when you do communicate, there are strict rules. Because if there weren't, we wouldn't be able to understand one another. Every time we were to listen in on someone new, we would have to learn their language. Again, just like in real life, the fact that there is this language we call English and that it comes with certain rules means that you and me can understand one another even though we haven't actually met. And when you think about it, that's pretty awesome. The second guideline is events as engineering artifact proxies. An engineering artifact is anything we generate during development. A source code revision, a sound clip, documentation, a test case execution, or why not an environment definition? Anything. A lot of the time, these can be difficult to identify as unique entities, and sometimes the only way of identifying them is to describe them. Like an environment, for instance. Sometimes it's important to be able to point to a specific environment where a test was executed without having to describe it in detail yet without confusing it with another similar environment. Eiffel events, on the other hand, are always uniquely identifiable. This is why Eiffel events reference other events which act as proxies or handles for the real thing whenever possible. Which brings us to guideline number three, referencing over duplication. In the interest of consistency and separation of concerns, let each event present its data and nobody else's. Sometimes there is a tendency to copy data from event to event as you progress through the pipeline, where towards the end of the pipeline, each event is essentially the sum of everything upstream of it, for the convenience of a consumer who might be interested in something that happened way back at the beginning. In Eiffel, this is considered an anti-pattern. And now we're touching upon another guideline, information model integrity over reader convenience. Because here's a hard truth. Eiffel events aren't going to be convenient to read any more than manually reading a JPEG file is a joy for the eyes. And no matter how much information you put into a single event, there's always going to be use cases you're not covering. Instead, the solution is to create software that extracts, aggregates, analyzes, and visualizes that data for you, just like software that renders JPEG images for you. Another guideline. Secure Technology Agnosticity The Eiffel Protocol makes no assumptions with regards to underlying infrastructure or tooling. One concrete example of this is that event content and delivery are separate concerns. Envelope details are never included in the contents and there are no dependencies to any particular message broker. Secure Flexibility Eiffel events are always descriptive rather than prescriptive. What that means is that an Eiffel event will never instruct you to start a build, execute a test, or publish an artifact. It will only describe what has happened, when, where, how, and why. Then it is up to you, as a consumer of that information, to decide if and what to do about that. Because in this ecosystem, there is no central controller, there is no director. In this way, Eiffel encourages choreography over orchestration. Last but not least, secure traceability. An extremely important aspect of Eiffel, 
is that it provides unambiguous trace links between multiple types of engineering artifacts throughout the pipeline. This lets you see where your software went or where the software you're picking up came from, who tested it where and how, who integrated it into what, and which bug fixes were made or requirements implemented. The full list of guidelines is actually longer, but we have covered most of them. To read about the rest of them, head over to our GitHub page.